Right, hello everyone. Well, here we are in the B Skylabs uh, Auto Gyro, the new 600X, and um, I've got an OVR window open there, which I normally run with the Rift S that I use for VR. And I've mapped a couple of the buttons to the Pro Flight Trainer, the brakes and the spin up for the main rotors up there. So if I'm looking down here with luck, we should see a spin up now of the main blades. And then when they're up to speed, we can take them off and release the brakes and then off we go. So we release that, release the brakes, full throttle. Now there's no um, yaw or rudder on on this and uh, as you can see it doesn't take long to get up in the air. And it's pretty much a balancing act between how fast you want to go, the angle of the nose, and he's given some rather neat instruments in the center there, the compass and the G limit, and uh, I'm going to say throttle or angle on the right there. Uh, they can also be removed, leaving a much larger gap in the middle there. But you can see that the work on the actual cockpit is just so good, the shoes, the jeans, between your legs there you've got the rotor brake if you want it and the normal brakes and we're going to be heading over that way and you can drop the nose if you want to go down and sort of keep the throttle the same or you can do what I tend to do drop the throttle nose down a bit like an auto really maintain the RPM and although it's it's got some good uh, obviously navigation stuff the uh, autopilot works brilliantly uh, everything else it's got a couple of alarm bells you hear if you haven't got the throttle set high enough or the angle of attack is wrong um, but after a few goes, I have to say, you just look out the window and uh, you get a feel for the speed and what it's doing without all of that. So, there we have the Isle of Wight. Put some throttle on. out there we can see an aircraft carrier and I'll do some um, cutting out because it takes time to fly to these places and that and as gorgeous though this interior is I'm sure looking at the feet and just the dolls isn't really what you're after um, but it it is a really enjoyable bit like the bush planes but I don't know the view just seems better um, as mainly a helicopter pilot it still feels correct I've actually got the throttle set to the collective arm rather than the twist grip and I find that gives a much greater control of the throttle and uh, again, being mainly a helicopter pilot, it seems more uh, how it should be. I mean, I have tried it on the throttle with the twist and it works fine. But for me personally, I've got it on the collective arm, so up and down we'll do the throttle. So we're going to head off to the back of this carrier and see if we can do a landing on it and see how it goes.
Now the graphics for this particular thing aren't particularly great. It's um, stationary, as I say, and they've put the wake of the carrier behind, and it doesn't particularly sit well. But when you have a look around at the inside of this uh, auto gyro, um, that does sit well, and it is absolutely fantastic. So here we come we're coming up behind i'm trying to get as low a speed as possible I'm trying to keep her as steady as possible maybe a little bit faster i do tend to drop below on carriers and then come up to the height that i need and especially if i'm going to try and drop it in fairly low so we might hear a few alarm bells a bit high actually there so a few alarm bells going off bit of throttle on. So we're down. Well in fact we might as well keep going. Let's put the throttle on again and see if we can launch ourselves off up into space and there we go. And again those warnings well So this time on a carrier landing, let's try something really a bit more unusual and that's come into it the other way around. So I've got it pretty much slow as it will go. There's the ramp. Might be able to slow down a little bit more but not much see if I can just get down low enough to drop it. Engine off sort of thing or engine virtually very low. Might just go slightly below and come up again. A bit more throttle. Nose up. You know, I thought I had it then. There we go, off the side. So after our last failure of dropping into the sea, we're going to give landing on this carrier another go uh, from the wrong way round. So we're going to do a sharpish turn. Start killing the speed off. Aim it down and maybe just bring it up a little bit as we bit of a bump there but not quite on the uh, top of the ramp there but I would say I'm going to class that as a success that one done it once uh, fell in the sea once right it only leads me to say well done V Sky Labs it's a uh, another really unusual great fun thing to fly graphics are brilliant i think the flight model's good um well done for doing something so unusual uh i never noticed the flashing of the water textures uh, during the making of the video so i apologize for the flashing of the textures and i'd just like to say that 
if you'd like to press that subscribe button please do so make me a happy man and then um, if not i'll talk to you all next week thanks for watching